this is going to be quick because a I don't understand the problem and b I gotta go so here it's example VLE 0 find the equilibrium composition of the same mixtures leaving a chamber in which the feed F entering is with composition XF equal to 0 0.5 Partition the coefficient between the composition of the two phases in relation y equal to kx, where k equals 1. Show a sketch of process with a yx diagram. The idea, I think, is that you're looking for the vapor-liquid equilibrium of two species A and B. And vapor equilibrium, or an xy diagram, is made with a square. And over here you have A, over here you have B. This part down here is the liquid and we use X on that and over here we have the vapor and we use Y for that and also down here we have A and this is B and these are the compositions which means the percents so you should think of it as like a tank in which there is two species but they're both parts of them are both in the liquid and parts of them are both are in the vapor so down here in the liquid you have XA and XB and this is the percent of A in the liquid and XB is the percent of B in the liquid and because they're percents and they add up to the whole liquid you get one Similarly, you have vapor up here, and it's YA plus YB equals 1, and this is the percent of A in the vapor. Now, under, now the idea is that you start with XA and you have to determine YA so that you get an equilibrium, usually for a specific temperature. And what happens is you try to find constants, k, and the idea is that y equals kx gives you your equilibrium. This is a constant or equilibrium, or an equilibrium constant. And so now over here to our problem, we have xf is 0. That means that half of it is a and half of it is b. This would be no a over here would be no A, this would be no B. So right now we have X equal to 0 0.5. And these constants usually vary, they're not a fixed one, but with a fixed one you would have a straight line. And the idea is then you're going up to this straight line to find the vapor constant over here, and you can see easily that, that Y equals 0 0.5. And this is what you were given as your answer. Good luck.